Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington, an original shark from the hit TV show Shark Tank. Welcome to this edition of Business Icons. Now, I have two special guests, John Goodhue and Brian Gray. Thanks for being with us today, guys. Well, thanks. Right. We, How you thank doing? you for having us. Super. Yeah. Now, you're both nationally recognized authors, speakers, and wealth advisors. But yep. I want to start with asking you, who do you actually help on a day-to-day -day basis inside your business? Sure, and we primarily focus on uh, business owners, professionals, okay. and business executives. Uh, well, we also like women on their own. Okay, okay. Absolutely. entrepreneurs too. Right. You entrepreneurs. Know, guys yeah. like yes. me, oh, maybe. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, we yeah. focus on trying to be specialist in retirement planning because so many people focus on different things, but we really want to focus and narrow down what is their final piece they want to accomplish. And, and so yeah. on that note, yep. what would you say that these people are actually looking for? What do they Absolutely. want? Well, there's really three main things, but the first one is peace of mind. You know, they really sure. want the peace of mind to actually have a lifestyle without limits versus a lifestyle with boundaries. Okay, yeah. right. that's a good one. Right. Yep. You know, peace other of mind, that's a great one. Oh, yep. peace of mind. I mean, yeah. that's, I mean, I think that's what everybody wants. Yep. Uh, I don't care how much money you have, really. Yeah. That's really what it comes to. We're all human. Yeah. Right. So that's what yep. we're all really You can really have a lot want. of money, but maybe you don't have peace of mind. Oh, so, so, there's a lot you know, of stress out there. Right, right. Yeah. So it's kind of that sleep through the night piece. Uh, absolutely. Kind of I like that. Idea. That's great. Yeah. The other thing is freedom, and freedom in the rest of their life. You know, people are now, we're living longer. Right. We've got 20, 30 years in retirement. Uh -huh. And so we like to, we like to help people really live a free life. That they're not looking at their retirement, watching it, worried about it. We're kind of setting them free to just really enjoy enjoy stuff. I like our, that. Absolutely. Well, our big thing is is if the hardest thing we have to do when we yeah. started our practice ten years ago, we 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 never never even dreamed of this. It's really really hard to get savers to spend their money. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that I is mean, so hard. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they yeah. can have money, they've got good income plan, right. but ultimately what it comes down to is, is is the freedom to be able to spend it without confidence, or with the confidence. With the to confidence. That. To yeah, know that they, it's going to last yeah. all the way oh, through, yeah. right? Well, that's it, it, that's you know? a big fear. Yeah. So we want yeah. people to have that freedom to have control, but the, the third thing is ultimately so they can make a difference. And gotcha. what we see is they want to make a difference with their family, with charities, the right. local local community. Right. Yeah, that's and important that they, they engage with with yeah. charities. Well, also, we, yeah, right? and we yeah. think we think that yeah. in in general, uh, it's more important to pass on charitable assets right. to children and grandchildren yeah. than it is uh, you teach money. Teach them early on, absolutely, right? absolutely. Yeah. because it, it it brings out it yeah. it just fulfills their life more. Right. Uh, we just find that that's a really important yeah. part. Now you mentioned you started the business ten years ago, right. but yep. so tell me how it all came to yep. be for you guys to get it into this business. Absolutely. Well, it was a, you know for both of us, it's really a couple personal pain right. with our families, and I'll let John start with his. Oh, okay. And, yeah. Well, I'm a lawyer by training, and uh, so and I grew up in a kind of You're a recovering lawyer. Yeah, kind recovering of thing, lawyer. Right? Yeah, I don't <laughs> I don't do that anymore. Um, but I, I my my it really goes back to my parents. My parents, we my dad was a long haul truck driver. My mom was a stay at home mother, mm -hmm. uh, and they didn't have a lot except my dad was a teamster and okay. he had a really really good pension and what happened he he retired about 65 and right. he he didn't ask me uh my dad you know your parents think that you don't know anything even though i was a practicing attorney at right, the time right. <laughs> but it's when he retired he got some really bad advice mm -hmm. um and he took his pension with a single payout his lifetime right yep. and so he died four years later of cancer okay my mm -hmm. mom lost their really only true asset was their income and so I, that was horrible mm -hmm. and wow. mm -hmm. so i saw that happen and then as an attorney I would see people getting really bad financial advice, sure. yep. and it was it would hurt them in lots of different ways. And yeah. so, mm -hmm. I decided that if we when we decided yeah. to come go into this business, I decided that I wanted to focus, and we wanted yep. to focus with Brian's story on retirement planning because yeah. people don't get good advice oh, in retirement. They really don't, because in, in my situation, my mom was diagnosed with with breast cancer back in 1987, mm -hmm. and recurred in, in 1991. So. Wow. My parents knew they weren't going to have a long life together. Right. So we sacrificed a lot of things to, to get them to be able to save a lot of money. And ultimately, my dad retired early at 55 in 1999. But what happened that next year? 
Mm -hmm. We had the technology crash. Sure, well, right, right. We had the big crash. So he wound up going back to work and re-retired at 62 in 2006, and then the financial crisis hit a year later. Right. So we find a lot of people fall so into when that. When you have one that's yeah. surviving the other for many years, oh, absolutely. my father lived yep. for 15 years longer than my mother, absolutely. and so it's, it's important yep. for that planning yep. to, to take place ahead of time, it right? Really, it really does, because yeah. you know, what we realize is we want people not to miss their bucket list window. Bucket you know, list window, I like so, that's a good term. Absolutely, yeah. so what we focus on is really trying to make make people realize that they might have a long life left, but it may yeah. not be all good years together. Well, I, I like yep. both of you got into the mm -hmm. business based on yep. challenges that existed absolutely. within your, your own right. families, mm -hmm. right? So yep. so you saw the problem, the needs, the you know, and then kind of said, I want to be a, a solution provider to the rest mm -hmm. of the market. Because yes. if it happened inside your family, yeah. this must be happening in many other all, families. All across you know, America. All across America, right? Mm -hmm. So so what, what would you say some of the, the big challenges are yeah. that, you know, sure. I'm an entrepreneur, yeah. uh, other entrepreneurs, but yes. others that are, mm -hmm. are not entrepreneurs. But what, yeah. what are the challenges that your, well, your clients are facing? Sure, and we yeah. actually have written a white paper on that. There's okay. really yeah. 12 big topics. We yeah. don't have enough time here to, okay. to talk about that today. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, two or three of them, uh, we've talked about one, uh, really the, the fear of running out of money. Fear of running yeah. out of money. And Because yeah. and it, it is the number one fear every year that yeah. they do uh, surveys. And that's that's people's fear. They're and yeah. that they're they're yeah. they're not going to have enough. They're going to live too right. long. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and you want to they want to be able to play golf or something if they yeah. want you know so that's, not oh, to, yeah. to get extravagant but to oh, yeah. still enjoy their life obviously well, right. Yeah, that's, that, that fear and most people start with goals, but we like to start with vision. Right. Because you know, once we help right. them establish the vision of what they want retirement to look like. Then we set priorities and what they want to accomplish, and then ultimately set those right. goals so they can actually create their vision. Right. Yep. Right. Yeah. And then the, yeah. the second one, I think that, yeah. uh, and most people don't think enough about yeah. this, are taxes. Oh, okay. Uh, people yeah. in retirement. That's, that's a big issue. They they, yeah. they pay too much in taxes generally. They don't okay. they, they don't think about it. There there's not very many professionals like mm -hmm. CPAs generally don't do forward tax planning. Right. And so we help people try to mm -hmm. save as much as possible. And our favorite thing really is is to take money away from the IRS and give yeah. it to people's families and charities. And yeah. that, that way we're funding more for yeah. the family, more sure. for charities, get back to the big impact right. piece of what we talk about. And that's that sure. that that's kind yeah. of that, that's a huge one. It's just, it's just not enough yeah. focus on that. Right. No, right. There is, and, and really, the, the third one is healthcare. Right. Healthcare. You know, because you never know if one of us is going to get sick, whether they're going to die too soon. So we really try to focus on making sure when we're doing planning, as we get the right amount of money to the right people at the right time. Gotcha. And ultimately, with that, is, is you never know with healthcare because there's right. a lot of surprises that come out. So you help and them absolutely. in choosing these plans and, and, and right. And then also, yeah. you know, it's not just your, your medical insurance for most people it's medicare yeah. right and we yeah. work with medicare brokers professionals that know you know how to do yeah. all that that's very very important mm -hmm. it's also the coverage of long-term care right about 80 percent of us are going to need it because right. we're living longer mm -hmm. and so and most people think there's one way to get long-term care people sometimes don't like to even talk about it right there are really eight or nine different ways okay. to, yeah. to get it and many better than traditional long-term care right but it's such a huge Problem for people. I mean, yeah. Fidelity says that in, in retirement years we're going to spend at least two fifty uh, in a couple. Wow. For, I think it's more wow. than that for yeah. the rest of our lives. Yeah. So really covering that is is really really important. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Big a big piece. What age yeah. do people need to be planning for retirement? <laughs> well, <laughs> as, right now, yeah, right. As, as early as possible. Yeah. yeah. It, the, it, the sooner the, the better. Sooner the better. Well, we find right. a lot of people get a later start on it because all, all of a sudden, you know, when we're in forties and fifties, mm -hmm. getting right. the kids through college and, and high school, ultimately people start realizing that oh wow. Now I start thinking about retirement, but they really should start planning way ahead, well before right. kids are out of college. I love the, yeah. the you know the background the, the, of yeah. the, the the tag team here. Yeah. You're a lawyer, but yeah. you know, Brian, where, where did you yeah. where did you start? I actually, and, spent quite a bit of years in commercial and residential lending before doing this. So, okay, good. You so know, you're a finance out. guy. Absolutely, then, so, so, right. so finance so, degree. And, so I mean, yeah. you got a good brain trust here. Yeah. Legal finance, yeah. uh, ten years together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it? Is t tell me about yeah. the the. the uh, the pluses of, of, yes. the, of the group here. Yeah. You, you, you well, do we, a kind of a, a glove fits the hand kind of do. thing between we, you? We do. Yeah. We, we, we generally meet with people who we're talking with yeah. together. Yeah. Right. Uh, and that way yeah. we, we bring yeah. our strengths together. So right. it's so, kind of that one plus one equals five kind of thing. I yeah. like that. Um, yeah. So it, it, we're, we're a team. That's, that's, yeah. how, that's yeah. how we approach everything. And we yeah. focus the, the, the firm because we've got a lot of good support on the team and, and right. we've got a really great team with our firm. That's fantastic. Yeah. 
So we've talked about, you said, the 12 steps that's that right. people need to know mm-hmm. about. You shared several of them, I yeah. think three. Uh, mm-hmm. So anyone that's listening might want to know about the, the other things they need to do. Can, yeah. Tell anyone out there, how can they reach you and maybe find out more about the next steps? Actually, it's, it's, it's quite simple. We made it real easy for people. They can go yeah. to our website, apofinancial.com. Okay. We put together a retirement action kit. And ultimately, they can even email us at info at, a, at, excuse me, info at apofinancial.com. So that way that we can email them the information as okay. well. Well, it was great having you guys. Yep. John Goodhue, Thank Brian you, Gray, Kevin. thanks for Thank being you. here today. Appreciate and it. thanks for listening and being here for the this episode of Business Icons.